mental accounting is not just about money, it's also about time. I give you an example of a time mental accounting. I, when I was, was around 40, I was trying to look for you know, the question, is, is there a God? It, does God exist? So I went to the monastery, a Benedictinian monastery in Switzerland, for, for a couple of weeks. Um, I didn't find God, but I found a mental accounting rule in terms of time. <laughs> the nice thing about the monastery is when you eat at the dining room and you have a hundred monks there, and uh, I'm there also as a guest, there's silencium, so people don't talk while you eat. It's actually a nice thing. Uh, you don't have to do small talk or big talk, you just eat. And, but the thing is, what they have, the cutlery, the knives, the forks and the spoon, is in a little casket about this size. You open up the little casket and you take your knife and spoon and, and, and fork out when you start to eat. So, which means you are reminded and that that casket is a wooden casket, it's about 300 years old, it's a black one, it really looks like a casket and what it says is you're already dead and everything that follows now is a gift to you.